What's going on guys? Welcome back to another product review. In this video, I'm going to be talking about some Sitka clothing, more in particularly the Sitka Fanatic jacket and bibs. So Sitka is very expensive, right? And I personally would prefer to find cheap gear that does the same job, but I, I've struggled to do that. So this year I wanted to find some heavier uh, winter clothing for the late season. Um, I've got some Nomad gear that I wear, uh, but I think it's better for like mid-season layering. Uh, it's better for like the rut and whatnot. So I wanted to get something for those late season hunts where it's down and closer towards zero. Here in New York, it gets pretty cold during uh, muzzleloader season and like gun season. So there was a few different uh, clothing lines that I was looking at. I was looking at First Light and Under Armour and Sitka. So this system here, the, the jacket and the bibs, you're looking at close to $1,000. The other um, clothing options I was looking at from Under Armour was their cold gear. But what I didn't like about it was the fact that it was just pants with suspenders. I like that the Sitka, uh, they've got the full bibs that come up towards your chest and they hold in a little more heat up there. So that's why I chose not to go with the Under Armour. The Under Armour's about half the price for a jacket and pants than Sitka gear is. First Light, that was another option, but I felt like from what I've watched on YouTube and read online, you really can't beat Sitka. You know, if you're going to spend the money, you might as well go all out and hopefully it'll last a long time. That's my goal. So this video, I'm just going to be doing a quick overview, showing you guys what you get when you get the box, um, so you know what you're getting yourself into, and then my first impressions on it, okay? so. From what I've read, <clears throat> with proper layering, this should you should be good down towards zero degrees with uh, the Fanatic jacket and bibs. And it seems like Sitka, they've got a lot of really great ingenuity into their products and really take a step back and look at it from like a hunting perspective. Uh, and they really add in those details that you would want when you're in the woods and not just focus on keeping you warm in the quality of the clothing. But they do that as well, but they've got a little bit extra, you know, into it. So when you get the box, you get a nice uh, packaging here. So that's pretty nice. Just shows that they take a little extra time into their, put a little extra time in their product. And then this is my first time seeing it, so. This is uh, going to be my first impressions of it. So this looks like the uh, the jacket you get, and then these are the, oh no, this is the jacket and those are the bibs. So get rid of this stuff. Then you get a little pamphlet that says thank you on it, and it looks like it's just your order details inside. Um, they make it easy for you to do a return or exchange here, it looks like. They've got stickers in here for you if you need to exchange a product. So that's nice. Nice seeing when you spend that kind of money that they put a little bit extra time into the, the packaging and whatnot. So let's uh, dive into the jacket here. Another thing I really like about uh, the jacket and bibs, the Fanatic ones, is this like wool material on the outside. It's a really nice soft touch to it, super quiet. This looks like uh, some nice stuff. And uh, with this jacket, they make a right hand and left handed version. Um, as you can see here, the way it zips up, it goes diagonal across the jacket. That way you got this uh, the kangaroo pouch is what people are calling it. That way it's just one pouch, you can keep your hands in, it's not separated by the zipper. And uh, they've got a little magnetic uh, button here. You can put it out of the way uh, when, you, when you're getting ready to shoot. And it looks like here, you know, they've, they've got a nice fabric here for that way when you draw back your bow. So there's all these extra added details like here in your right arm for when your arm's bent and you're, you're drawing your bow back that they put in there that uh, makes you feel like you're getting a real quality product so 
This is windproof. That's another reason why I really wanted this. And one of the reasons why I chose not to go with the Under Armour is on their website, they weren't very clear as to what temperature rating their, their products were good down to. So another cool thing here is uh, they've got this button here. If I can get it apart. Somehow. Let's see here. Oh, it slides and opens up. So that's so you don't have to take your safety harness off. And it's got some magnets here as well. So that's that's nice. You know, it's all these little extra things that make them stand apart from other clothing lines. And this is my first pair of Sitka clothing. And uh, you know, I really took a lot for me to spend the money on it. But I think it'll be worth it. We'll see. So, uh, let's get into the bibs here. And in the, uh, you know, once we get closer towards late season and I've worn these a few times, I'll bring you back a little update as to what I think about them after using them actually in the woods. So I did get the, uh, I'm six foot two and I weigh 230 pounds. So I got the large tall and the bibs going based off their sizing chart. And I got the, uh, just the large jacket. Another nice thing about these people from what I've read is that they're so warm. You can't walk to the stand with them. And, uh, that's a huge issue. If you're walking to your tree stand and you start to sweat, and when you sit down and it starts to freeze. So they've got a full length zipper that goes all the way up to your hips, a little bit past your hips actually, that uh, you can open them up on your way to your stand and close them back down once you get there. Plus that makes it super easy when you're putting on your, your layers and you got your boots on and you just wanna slide these off. Another nice thing about these is the straps have this nice rubber material on them. So they'll stick to your clothes and you don't have to worry about them sliding off. But uh, I'm going to throw these on and tell you what I think about them. All right, guys. So I just uh, threw on the bibs. Um, first impressions are I like them. Um, they're, they're pretty heavy, which I'd like. It feels like they're going to keep me warm. Like I said, I've obviously never worn them out and I've never owned a Sitka product. So I don't, I can't say for sure. And I'm not going to lie and tell you that I think they're the best thing ever. Um, but I like them. I think they're high quality and I think there's a lot of detail put into them that makes them stand apart. Uh, one thing I like about the lower half of the bibs from like uh, your thighs down is it's a different material than this wool material, um, which is nice because if you ever walk through a, a field, you get all those burrs on your legs with this kind of material. And that did, they did the same thing with the jacket here. You know, they got a different material than the upper half. As far as fit goes with the large, uh, I don't feel like I might have a ton of room underneath in the legs for extra layers. Uh, definitely enough room for a pair of sweatpants and you know long johns, but they're kind of tight in between the legs, which I do like. I don't like stuff flopping around in the wind and having a bunch of extra room underneath. In, in the chest, the chest fits great. Um, the way you adjust the straps here is there's a bunch of stitched uh, holes per se up the straps. So you just slide them out and adjust them to the right length for you. But uh, another cool thing is they've got uh, dual zippers. So if you know, if you got to take a leak in the tree stand, it's easier. Uh, they got dual zippers on the hips going all the way down to your legs. So you can vent if you need to. They've got uh, two pockets here on your uh, thighs that are just open topped and they've got two zippered pockets on the side of that and then they've got two large pockets up top here too. So lots of pockets in these bibs which is nice and they've got another couple pockets here. So you got uh, let's see here two, four, six, eight pockets on just the bibs which is nice. Uh, but yeah, loose up here, tighter down here, 
if I had to order them again, I can't say I'd pro I don't I don't think I'd get the extra large just because uh, they fit great everywhere else. Um, but yeah, I'm a fan so far. It's nice, nice high quality stuff. It feels. I've owned Nomad and you know cheap Walmart camo, and this is definitely next level. Feels like high quality. So I'll throw on the jacket and give you my first impressions of that. All right, so I just threw on the jacket. Uh, again, I got the large and it feels a little tight. Um, hopefully this stuff doesn't shrink in the wash because if so, it might not fit anymore. Um, like I said, I'm 230 pounds, six foot two, pretty much large and everything fits. Um, Maybe I would have gone with the extra large. It's hard, it's hard to say. If this stuff keeps you warm with minimal layers, then I'll be fine. But if I need to really layer up, number one, that kind of defeat the purpose of the reason I bought it. And uh, I'd be pretty disappointed. But I don't know how many layers. I could probably fit a sweatshirt under here and a couple shirts. Um, another cool thing about this, like I said, it's got the cross zipper. So you got this kangaroo pouch connected hands. And they've got some uh, hand warmer uh, pockets in here. So you can throw a couple hand warmers in there. So you got this pocket here, and uh, you got a pocket in the front here, some more storage. And uh, then you got a, a pocket here. You can put your range finder or something. It's got a nice magnetic hold there. And uh, then they've got the drop away, you know, neck guard here for when you're, when you're shooting and you draw your bow back. But, yeah, overall, am I satisfied with my purchase after spending $1,000 on a pair of bibs and jackets? That is a tough pill to swallow. If, uh, especially for somebody like me, I like to try to find, and I like to watch a lot of reviews, and find the best bang for my buck. But I figured, you know, when it comes to this kind of stuff, you get what you pay for a little bit. Um, I like it. It's hard to say until I wear it out in the real cold, but I like the features that it has on it, like in the arm here, when you bend your arm back and you draw your bow back. I feel I feel very mobile in it, and I feel I like I do like how it it this stays tight to your body. Um, you know, for some people that might be an issue because you say you can't layer, but for a bow hunter. You, you kind of don't want stuff hanging out all over you. You know, you want it tight so you can maneuver. You don't have to worry about it grabbing on things. But hopefully you guys could hear me that whole time. I had the jacket on and my mic underneath. But uh, yeah, I like it. If you're, uh, if you're in the market and you've got the money to spend, uh, I think it's a great purchase, you know. Like I said, I can't really say for sure until I wear it out in the cold, but I'm hoping that it, it does what I want it to. And um, there's a couple other Sitka products that I want to get in the future. I want to get their uh, their backpack, their tool bucket. It seems like it's got a lot of room in it, and it seems like it also has a lot of innovative design to it. Um, so if you get a chance, you can check that out. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, no, I, I like, I like this, this, uh, this outfit here and I'm excited to take it out in the woods and see what, uh, see how it performs. But, uh, thanks for watching another video guys. Uh, like I said, in a few weeks here, we will start getting pretty cold right now. It's been out in the thirties and I've got a, a nomad system that I wear for that kind of weather and it keeps me warm. Um, but well, once it get down in the 20s and 10 degree weather, I'm probably going to throw this on and see how it does. But um, thanks for watching. We still got a lot of the season left, and we've been getting a lot of good content. I've got a tag in PA, so I'm looking forward to getting out there and doing some hunting in Pennsylvania. The farm I hunt, they've, uh, they've got some land in Pennsylvania, so... I do have a couple cameras out there right now, and uh, we're trying to get some intel. There's a nice big eight-point that uh, was our number one hit lister this year in New York, and it's not far from Pennsylvania. So I'm hoping once the rut kicks off here, he might venture off into PA and uh, hit up some of our 
are spots in there that I think are pretty good. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe this video. We would appreciate that. And uh, stay tuned. We've got a lot more content coming at you guys. Thank you.